Uh, friends, today I am with my very good uh, friend Ajit Kaikini. Uh, we had an understanding that uh, in one video he has to intro me. So according to that, this video. Uh, over to Ajit. Okay, Jay Prakash, so very nice of you to have been, uh, you know, ready to be interviewed. And you know why I've decided to interview uh, Jay Prakash? I don't know. Please tell me. <laughs> hey, you know, you left a lucrative TV job to start a startup. What was the stimulation? What motivated? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. First, I'll clarify. I, I was in the government department. Okay. Along with that, I was handling the central government part-time uh, freelance job. Okay. Okay. Uh, the state government has given me the permission to do it because that okay. also belongs to another government. Mm. So I have taken permission from the uh, department to do this task. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, but the passion towards training has made me to quit the government job. Number one. Number two, I have studied the topic time management. Mm. In fact, uh, the second uh, the reason is I have understood the value of time so I felt I was in the job only for the money uh, whereas in training I get satisfaction to the fullest extent along with the money and more than what I used to get in the government department so that confidence made me to uh, quit the government job. Whereas I continued for a television show for some more years, though I was an entrepreneur. And later on, now I have convinced those people that yes, uh, now other channels are uh, calling me as a, a guest or an expert. Um, so even I want to be in that position because I want I was killed up myself and they have agreed and one producer invited me in the last uh, June 24, 2022. Uh, they mm. interviewed me as a guest. I really loved your uh, statement wherein you said my passion brought me towards training. The money is not important. The satisfaction is. Can you tell me, uh, you know, Entrepreneurs buy big, big cars, big, big houses, and their aim and objective is that. And they say, I get happiness out of this. So can you tell me the difference between the satisfaction and happiness? Sir, satisfaction is uh, normally getting if someone uh, tells us, for example, many people have become IAS officers, MLEs, mm -hmm. TV hosts, and they mm -hmm. came to me and sir, because of your motivation, because of your transformational sentences. And these days I am getting responses even by reading my books. Many people have transformed and they. I'm getting calls each and every day that your book Fear Not Failures has helped us, your book Inferiority Complex has helped us. Sir, they are making my day, sir. Uh, I just thought as a hobby, I started writing. So not only for my speaking skills, now people are appreciating me for writing skills. Now I have decided to write at least one book uh, a year. <laughs> wow, wow. So very nice. Tell me, uh, are you gifted in writing or did you develop writing skills? Sir, in fact, speaking skills, I came to know at the age of 20th year. Okay. Because one of my lecturers pushed me to the debate competition. Mm -hmm. So for my first uh, speaking, they gave me a second prize that has given me the biggest motivation. Wonderful. First. So are you convinced, uh, Jay Prakash, that if your teacher had not pushed, you would not have done? Okay. Uh, I, even I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but you know why you did it? Because he was the reason for you to discover what is already in you. Correct. Correct. Now, somebody who is not good in communication, uh, if you are sent, doesn't mean he would have done it. Still, yes. you are basic, just like Lata Mangeshkar is best with music, you are best blessed with uh, uh, That's why I will ask my students to unleash the redden's potentiality. Wonderful. And, uh, for, for Wonderful the, uh, word. Uh, for the answer, I want to continue. This ah. is about speaking skills. Mm. I interviewed around 2,000 uh, achievers for television. 
Wow. Uh, in that, Good. one person while discussing, he told one thing. Um, I think uh, many speakers uh, cannot become a writer. He, just like that, he mentioned that remark. But I took mm. it very seriously. Okay. okay. I want to disprove his words. Mm. So mm. I just started, let me write. Just for my uh, uh, happiness or pleasure, I have written. But mm. these days, uh, the feedback, sir, uh, recently what has happened, uh, one Swamiji read mm. my book. It seems he started from the first page and he completed and then only he has done other jobs. Wow. wow. And he came to our gratitude function also and yeah. he ma made prayers and uh, uh, he has honored me. Wow, that is simply fantastic. Congratulations. And he is a stalwart in the television channels. That's Swamiji. But mm. just by reading my book, Fear Not Failures, he was so impressed. That's so, so nice these things, yeah. uh, This is what satisfaction means. Okay. When it comes to happiness, I'll mm. just tell you, many mm. people wrongly think that if they have some car or if they have some branded item, uh, it will make them happiness. It is temporary according to me. Because many people may have many cars, mm. but uh, what is they the, may not have happiness. They, Very may, true. they may not have happiness, but I see the happiness in the poorest poor people. Wonderful. And uh, Jay Prakash, what a wonderful thing you said. Suppose something outside of me makes me happy, then am I becoming a slave to it? Uh, no, it's not like that. Uh, mm. uh, see, whatever we are doing, ultimate mm. purpose is to be happy in our life. Correct. Uh, many people, uh, uh, they think the happiness is there in some bottle or something ah. else and they go behind it. Mm. Whereas we go with some positive purpose mm. and uh, mm. motivating a lot of people. It is mm. the greatest service to the nation. Actually, trainers and mentors are doing a great service to this nation, sir. Mm. Mm. In fact, I am not happy with uh, the field of politics sometimes. Are uh, the people who are there to make society a, a bigger society or the great society, uh, I am observing that they are all looking about themselves and not, about, not for others. Wonderful. You know, uh, what you are telling is a proof that, you know, when uh, many houses got inundated, drowned in the water due to rains. Mm. Do you think uh, politicians are involved in this? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, otherwise, lakes being, you know, uh, closed and the building permissions given. And now what is happening is poor people... They got a paper from the government and now the buildings are being destroyed. So I, I really don't understand uh, how this works. Can you tell me, suppose a startup, a youngster wants to have a start some business. What is the focus they should have? How they should think of an idea? How to uh, 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 Number one is they have to think big, larger uh, terminology. Uh, mm. I used to tell always or quote Jawaharlal Nehru's uh, one sentence. Mm. Low aim is crime. Mm. Uh, so I am the man uh, who wants all of them to think in a big way. Okay. okay. And mm. they should be ready to take risks. Okay. And I also want to suggest sweat don't bleed. So prepare well. And execute plan well wonderful and uh, don't worry about the failures because you like those uh, uh, experiences no so start mm. enjoying experiencing uh, the moments what you are doing and be happy for uh, you because you have given work to so many people job to so many people uh, so you are an entrepreneur and i believe that uh, for our Indian growth, entrepreneurship is the order of the day. And startups are the number one priority 
that's why government is even thinking of that and promoting the same wonderful uh, you know uh, my only problem is uh, just like when i was a student everybody wanted to become engineer or doctor then after 10 years everybody wanted to become it engineer but do you think now same thing is happening with startups uh, no sir i won't agree because those days uh, uh, they prefer even they used to give braids only for engineers and doctors <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> because others used to feel uh, okay i'm not an engineer or a doctor and the trend has started sir now people mm -hmm. are the girls are preferring entrepreneurs rather than a government employee or engineer or a doctor Very because good. they they have started understanding their professions is this fellow will give time to me he, the, the, he may have some uh, money is mm -hmm. he really worth now, brides are actually starting, uh, started interviewing the bridegrooms. Oh, okay. So, the, uh, the trend is reversed now. Mm. Trend is reversed. Mm. So, I feel uh, these girls will prefer entrepreneurs more than these engineers and doctors in the future. Okay. So, do you feel I should start a business so that one good girl I should get for marriage? Sir, why this is very important because recently I, con I have conducted training for call center drivers. Okay. Sir, their main concern was many brides are not coming forward to marry them. Oh, okay. Uh, so, th that was a serious problem they are facing. So, that's why I took it as an example here. Uh, mm -hmm. where many girls are coming forward to join the entrepreneur and to join and uh, uh, for the business also. Okay. Okay. So that is the trend I am observing. So suppose you have to give one message to the youngsters who want to have a startup. Mm -hmm. What message you would like to give? Uh, go with your passion um, mm -hmm. and uh, don't discuss with small hurdles in the beginning stage, it, you, you have to be an adventurous uh, person. Be adventurous. And uh, definitely, it may take quite uh, some time uh, to reach to some level. That we have to understand. If you keep moving, definitely you are going to get uh, the success, whatever you are uh, looking for. Uh, and uh, the, these days we are getting a lot of experts, mentors. So we can always take uh, their suggestions of, uh, and we can improve upon our ideas, uh, even in day-to-day -day, uh, developments or the activities. We should be very open-minded. And now we have to think globally, act locally. That word uh, is always uh, required for us. Uh, very true, very true. Uh, then okay. I think no problem will arise, sir. Uh, they will enjoy when they start enjoying, no, sir. Sir, sometimes uh, I I have started training at 8 a.m. and ended mm. at uh, 12 p.m. at 1 wow. p.m. But wow. the participants wow. still wanted my training. And they, they requested me at least for one more hour, sir. So what mm. will you, what will be your feeling at that time? And if Absolutely. someone if someone talks about your product or service, that sir, your service was marvelous. Uh, it has helped us to uh, experience the life in a better way. Those words will make these entrepreneurs, startups, uh, to move ahead. Wonderful. So let me wrap it up, my dear friends. Yes. What a wonderful uh, you know interview it was. And number one, please don't forget, unless you are passionate about what you are doing. Startup is not going to be startup for a long time. It may end up also. And therefore, right. unless you have passion. Why? Because it will help you to face adversity. And look at the word he said. Convert it into an adventure. Okay. A venture into adventure may go on adding. Yes. And my dear friends, satisfaction. Satisfaction is a lubrication with communication for better relationships and better growth prospects. Thank you very much. And don't forget, my dear friends, uh, 
Nagathalli, Jay Prakash Nagathalli has a wonderful book, Take Risks Properly, Fear is Not a Failure. My dear friends, fear is a stepping stone. Fearful form is false evidence appearing real. And whenever you face problems, don't let the false evidence scare you. Simply muster your courage and fight it with resilience, perseverance. The grit, not only external grit, but the integrity. Because integrity will help you to retain customers and will simply grow and glow in life. All the best to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.